morning. It's another gorgeous day. And I thought I'd just share a few projects with you that I've completed. Some that are in progress, some that I need to do. We'll just take a little walk around and look around. There's a couple projects right here I did I can show you. I did mosaic on this ball. It's held up a couple years already. Watch me break it now. <laughs> Let's show you underneath what this is. It's simply an old light fixture. And I just, I think I used silicone or some kind of adhesive like that. And I glued the little flat glass shapes on it. Just kind of like some swirly shapes and things. I just followed like a path here, some curves. S shape there. Just simple little some meandering paths kind of on it. And then I used some grout and I sealed it and it's held up very, very well. That project cost next to nothing. Things that I had on hand, the old light fixture was left over from something I updated. So I, it pays to save things. This basket was a large laundry basket and I painted it. I used brush on paints but spray paint would probably be easier but I did a, a faded effect there. Ombre I, they call that. So it's darker paint at the bottom. I just kind of blended it in. It's just a multi-day process using brush on paint where if you used a spray paint it would go much faster but it was paint I got at a rummage sale <laughs> old coffee pot I've had that thing forever but that's made a great spot for my cosmos have done really well in there there's other plants at the bottom I threw some seeds in I bought like a wave petunia which didn't survive. I left it in there and planted the cosmos. The cosmos loved it. This little conglomeration of crates. I kind of screwed them together because they did, when I first put this up, it fell over a couple times. Broke some pots. But it's just random stuff in there I had. I think I have a lot more random stuff still packed away, but... <laughs> This kind of works to distract from the electric meter. You almost don't even realize it's there. And here's some of my various garden border stuff. These little concrete shapes, they were already here. And I've just put them on the corner of some of the beds. Because when I drag a hose around, just keeps it's like a hose guide worked well Here's one of my stepping stones I repainted I like the way that one turned out they just got faded over time that's something you can pick up at sales and thrift shops are the faded stepping stones like that they're just a fiberglass type of molded resin thing and they fade out and people give them away and you can repaint them. This is my little sculpture of driftwood. Well, actually not driftwood, but the closest thing I get here to driftwood, it looks something like it. It's just the old juniper pieces that I've picked up around here. Just if you look around my property, the only kind of trees I have are junipers. Where that shovel is in the ground over there is a hole for a future tree, but I have yet to find a bargain on one. But it's already dug when the soil was moist enough. And there 
there's my little toolbox that I have a separate video showing some steps of painting that. There's another little project I did, my little painted horseshoes. And I have a new sunflower growing below there. And I need to show you something here. This made a little entry here. This is an old level. And I used it to make a gate. I can unhook that. It will open. I just stuck some stakes down there to keep it from going too far at the bottom. This was my work in progress for a long time is this little pad behind me here. I'll be moving my trailer over there. I think I need a little bit more fill there. You can see my little drainage area there because that shed was set so low. And my little retaining border there that was a buck a piece. I've got metal stakes holding that up straight so that the weight of the fill there doesn't cave it over because there'll be some weight on there when trailers park there. What's up little girl? Hi. And I just put a few stones at the end to blend it in. I might add a little more to that. And I kept a, just a slope here so it's open for running a four-wheeler through here or a cart or anything of that sort. Look at these two. They hang around me all the time. <laughs> they love their mama. And this side of it has come along nicely. My little flower bed. Half the stuff is just weeds in the back of there, but it's green. <laughs> so we don't get green too often here, so I just let it grow whatever it wants there pretty much. Let me just show you what I do here. There's the product I'm using. This is the Liquid Nails Heavy Duty. And make sure you've got the interior, interior, exterior. Because the interior is not going to hold up outside, of course. I did get about this far yesterday. I want to get the bottom layer done first. And here's a little trick I have. I was painting this stuff to match the rock color when I was doing the lava storm in my garden. But that's a lot of work you don't need to do if you just sprinkle a little of the dirt on it. <laughs> it colors it in. So, and what really gives it strength is when you add the rocks onto that when you've got like three rocks that are connected together, it's that's what gives us the strength. If you just glue a row of single rocks together, it'll never be very strong. It's going to come apart fast. It just gives strength in numbers. Oops, a little extra in that one. And a little dirt. And you do have to add the little dirt quickly. This stuff will surface dry fast, but actually to get full strength, it takes several days before you want to really stress any 
stress on it at all. I don't know long term how much this will hold up. So no promises there. That's my disclaimer. <laughs> Well, thanks for joining me again. Please like and subscribe. Again, this is Cindy saying goodbye from BOSI Creative Living. Thank you.